When I mention the righteous bison, what is the first thing that comes to mind? Broken? Nerf to the ground. Soldier's worst unlock. Because that is what should come to mind. The bison is not only soldier's worst unlock, it is, in my opinion, one of the worst weapons in the whole game. Oh, but Noni, if the bison is such a bad weapon, why do you love it so much? Glad you asked. If you would just let me talk for more than 30 seconds, you might even learn that. I swear, people these days. Anywho, uh, when it comes to questions like that, people fail to understand one simple thing. The reason I love the Righteous Bison is exactly because of how terrible it is. You see, when something is hard to obtain, it makes the feeling of finally obtaining it so much better. When it comes to the Bison, getting a kill with it can sometimes be insanely difficult. One of the challenges that come up when using the Bison is how difficult it is to aim with it. Well, actually, I don't know if it's actually hard to aim with it or not. In case you don't know, I meant spy. And not gun spy, mind you. Just normal backstabbing, med dropping, piss fearing spy. And, as you probably know, spy's whole shtick is to get behind enemy vines and stab them. Rarely you ever using a gun. Well, maybe it's not that spy doesn't need to use a gun, more me being terrible with aiming. But, that's besides the point. I created this video in order to challenge myself to be the best I can be with the righteous bison. So I got myself a strangeifier, a professional kill streak, and a few strange parts I got in my unboxing screen. After all of that, I got to work. But Noni, you might be wondering, why go through all the trouble of being good with the bison if aiming projectile based weapons doesn't help you at all when it comes to hitscan? And to that I say, because of some projectile based weapons that are worthwhile and actually have a use in TF2. Weapons like the Crusader's Crossbow, the Rescue Ranger, Rocket Launchers, Grenade Launchers, the Huntsman, the list goes on. But why not practice with these weapons instead of wasting time on the- Oh, did you hear that sound? That sound means it's time for boring bison facts. According to the TF2 wiki, the bison does not require ammo. What that means is that in the bottom left corner of your screen, you can see a bison bar when using it. Similar to that of the cow mangler. And when I say similar, I mean the exact same, because they function exactly the same when it comes to the reloading mechanic. Instead of having ammo, both weapons have a set amount of shots you can do before needing to reload. For the bison, you can shoot 4 times before needing to reload. The reload time takes 0.4 seconds, except for the first time it needs to reload. Then it takes 0.92 seconds, almost double the amount of time, so it's usually best to empty out your whole clip before reloading. The bison's projectile not only penetrates enemies and buildings, it also cannot be airblasted. The bison can shoot every 0.8 seconds, but every time it does, it shoots three circular projectiles that can each hit an enemy. The bison deals a base damage of 20 to players and, when at extremely close range, can do about 22 to 24 points of damage with each circle that hits. And at mid to long ranges, the bison deals around 16 to 11 damage. When the bison crits, it deals 60 damage with each circle that hits, meaning that if all three circles hit, your enemy would most likely die. The bison deals 20% less damage to buildings, so... Huh? Yeah? Oh, <laughs> my bad. It deals only 20% damage to buildings, doing only 4 damage to each building, meaning that in order to kill a mini sentry, you will have to hit it 25 times. So yeah, stay away from buildings when running the bison. Which brings me to my next segment, strategies with the bison. When a weapon is hard to kill with, instead of rushing in and hoping for the best, it's always better to come up with a plan. Here are a few I came up with that I found to be really helpful. Since the projectile can't be deflected, unless the pirate has a flare gun equipped, you can target him easily without worrying at all. Of course, that's only if you're shooting from a distance, which means you will be doing around 11 points of damage with each hit. So make sure you have a teammate to back you up whenever you're fighting someone while using the bison. Look for groups of people gathering up and shoot them there. Think of your payloads, your control points, and even King of the Hill. Whenever there's a big group of enemies, you can aim vaguely in that direction and still hit a couple decent shots in there. Essentially, actively look for a barrel full of fish to shoot. Since a bison can also penetrate engineer buildings, you can destroy some engine nests by hiding behind a dispenser. Situations like that will rarely happen, but make sure to take them next time you see a dispenser blocking the intel room in Two Fort. Considering how laughable the bison's damage output can be on its own, you can try using it as a combo weapon, shooting enemies with the rocket launcher, and after you already dealt a fair bit of damage, finish them off with the bison. Now you might be thinking, but Noni, why go through the trouble of learning how to use a weapon like that when it's not even useful? Well, if you were listening, you'd know that it's not about the bison having an actual use. 
it's about seeking a challenge. Now, <laughs> it's not like I'm calling myself some sort of god gamer who needs to challenge himself just to feel something. Far from it, actually. I play Spy. But challenging yourself is not a bad thing either. The only way to push past your limits is to try and challenge yourself. To do something thrilling to get your blood pumping. Something others find absurd or ridiculous to even attempt. Using weapons like the Righteous Bison or the Pompson 5000 is not about being more helpful to your team or an easy cheat code to becoming a god at TF2. No, it's about having fun. And what's more fun than getting a kill with one of TF2's worst weapons? If you decide to start running the Bison after watching this video, just remember, it is really difficult. Not all of us can be like the Watcho and kill Benny with the Bison twice. Even I can't get that many kills with it. Here, I want you to guess, how many kills do you think I got in a 20 minute recording? Oof. Oof. <laughs> I wonder if I'll get a single kill playing this. Ah, oh, man. Bison epic. <laughs> okay, oh, that's bad. Uh oh, this is bad. This is bad. Bad. Bad touch. <laughs> oh, and he's laughing at me. <laughs> oh, I got him. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, okay. Oh. Oh, let's go. <laughs> there you go, Angie. I helped. Ow. <laughs> and get him. There was a, a pyro standing still there. Please, 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 no! I got one? How? I can't believe I got one that way. No way. Pyro, come on, let's get together. Pyro, we stick together. Pyro, Pyro, come back. Come on, come on, give me- No! Aw, oh, he laughed at me again. Oh, thank you, soldier. If no one got me, I know soldier got me. Come on, come on, come back. Spy, come back. No, 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 come back. Oh, there you are. <laughs> uh... Ah! Let's go, let's go, soldier. Come, oh, okay. Oh, crits. This will either be really good for me or terrible. Well, it was both. Mine. Haha! <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Ah, oh, that's a shame. <laughs> let's go, okay. Uh, good job. <laughs> oh man. Well, that ended up being more than I thought, but my point still stands. Do you notice how excited I got every time I got a kill with the bison? You simply can't help but feel the, that gamer rage whenever that evaporation effect hits and the kill feed has the sick icon in it. If there is one thing I want you guys to take away from this video, is that I want you to challenge yourself. I want you to look at your loadout and think to yourself, I wonder how I will do with an objectively worse loadout. It doesn't even need to be with the bison. It can be with any weapon that you personally don't like. You could try running the backscatter, the Ulapul caber, the Pompson, or any other weapon that is considered bad by other people. I want you to go out there and be the best you can with the worst you have. If you guys want to share how that little adventure goes for you, feel free to message me on Discord and I'll gladly talk to you about it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe since I am planning on making more videos in the future. Not necessarily in this style, but I would like to see what you guys think. When making this video, I accidentally lost my script and essentially erased a week's full of writing. But I think the new version works a lot better. Your support will mean a lot to me. I hope I can entertain you again in the future. Okay, video's over. Bye now.